Hi again, in this video I'm going to show you how to add the elevation values, so these ones in here, to the pop-up window. Currently our script uh, simply prints out uh, this string in the pop-up window, so uh, we're going to change that, and the way you do that is by first loading the elevation data into a Python list. And then in the loop here, you want to say, let's say, L in zplatlon elev, like that. And here in the pop up argument, you pass the L attribute. So again, mm, we create a list which is uh, named elev, so variable elev. That will be a list of all the elevations and then we iterate through these three lists so lt will get the first item of let ln will get the first item of lon l will get the first item of lf and those items will be distributed in this function in here so lt in here ln in here and l in here el in here now i want to save this and execute but I expect to get an error and I want you to see the error so that you get familiar with uh, handling errors as well so the error is happening on line uh, 14 in this file map1.py which is our file and line 14 is here so this is the line and then we have add child pop up uh, so it seems uh, this error has to do with the pop-up object. I would say this is not a very good error message actually. It's hard to, to read this error and to troubleshoot it. So not very good information given by volume here. But anyway, uh, we have some clues. So pop-up. And this says name child get name attribute error not by dot float 64 object has no attribute get name. Uh, so it seems that Folium is trying to apply this getName method, which is a method inside the Folium code base, and it's trying to apply it to a number. So I think that this L here is actually a number. And I can check that by saying print type L, save, execute the script, Again, here is the type. So this is a NumPy float 64. So basically it's a float type. It's actually a special float of, of the NumPy library. But anyway, you can call it a float. So it's a number, it's not a string. But if you look at help dot, uh, sorry, help volume dot marker, you'll see that the pop-up parameter expect a string from you as input but you're passing instead you're passing a float number uh, so you don't want to do that what you want to do is simple you s simply convert that float number to a string save the script go to the terminal Execute again. Go to Firefox. Reload. And you get the elevation displayed correctly. Yep, that's about it. You can also uh, want, you may also want to stylize what you're displaying so to add more information there such as plus space of meters so i'm adding the m string to every pop-up window information for all the elevation numbers so we, we're talking about 2447.0 meters that's the elevation of the volcano. 
yeah, that's the idea. I hope this was clear and I'll talk to you later.